It's out of the University of Texas. 2-1 pitch. That ball is drilled deep left center field. That ball is high and deep. That thing's got a chance. And it is going sidewalk souvenir. Daryl Hernandez first of the year, and that was a line drive shot over the high wall in left center field. Out of here. One and hit into one double play. The line drive over the glove of the leaping second baseman Correa. Base hit into center field. Daryl Hernandez two for two. On line box, although it's not right on the hounds right now. Ground ball back up the middle, a clean base hit. Well, Daryl Hernandez is having a really good ball game. He is three for three, a two-run home run, a single and a run scored, and now a single up the middle. One ball, one strike. Pitch by Rupenthal, back up pitch, set up the middle, a base hit. Daryl Hernandez is on base, one out in the bottom of the ninth inning. What a day he is having, four for four plus a sacrifice fly, Daryl Hernandez. 0-2 pitch, that ball is hit high and deep to left field. Daryl Hernandez, that ball's got a chance, that is gone, sidewalk souvenir. Three run shot over the high wall, left field. Daryl Hernandez has a five RBI game. Three for three in this ball game. A couple of RBI singles and that one a line drive over the left field wall. Well, talking about <laughs> pretty good home run celebration. I won't even try to describe that. Ground ball might get you out of the inning, 1-1. Here's a line drive shot to left. That's a three run blast for Hernandez. And just like that, it's four to nothing. 106 miles per hour for Daryl Hernandez. And that ball was crushed. That was just pure barrel. That's gone in any ballpark in the Texas League by a significant margin. And Hernandez, high fly ball towards right field. Enriquez moves back. He's going to run out of room. And another home run for Midland. This is unbelievable. Three two-run shots in the top of the sixth inning, and Midland just pouring it on. Second the home DH run number nine, for Daryl Hernandez today. But he's good at avoiding strikeouts, lowering his K rate 10% from last year to this season. The 0-2 is hit towards the JC, but no chance of this one. A line drive into left center, base hit. Hernandez stops at first for a two-out single. And Thomas Sejaci has seen three balls hit his way this inning. Two of them he had chances on. He made both of those plays. But this one is single for Daryl Hernandez. And brings up Denzel Clark in the third. The 1-1 pitch from Grant Wolfram. It is grounded towards short. It is past the diving Sejaci into left field. And this fourth inning continues to go on. Hernandez singling with two outs. Denzel Clark is next. Right-hander peers in. He's got his sign from Hicks. And the one-two on the way. High line drive right back to him. It hits off of him and caroms out to third. And Tantalou's got it, but now you just hope that Anderson is okay and he looks like he's good. But man, I didn't see where that hit him. A line drive right back to the hill. It definitely hit off of him. Oh, he got his glove out in front of him? No, it hit him on the inner part of the left thigh. Looks back towards second deal. Swinging a line drive to right center. It's down for a base hit. That brings Bowman to third. He comes in to score. And the throw on to second is not in time. So Hernandez has himself an RBI double. Swift goes from first to third. Bases loaded one out. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Hernandez hits one high and deep to left. Back goes Barosa. Oh, way back. Grand slam for the new guy. And all of a sudden, it's 6-4, Reno, with one out of the bottom of the night. Daryl Hernandez goes boom. His first triple-A long ball is a grand slam, a ball that carried 412 feet to left. Little guy, big pop, he absolutely hammered that one. Hernandez is one for three plus a walk. Here's the pitch. Hits this one high in the air to deep center field. Bernard's going back, but he is just a spectator. It is way up in the trees. A mammoth home run for Daryl Harnese. That is his seventh of the season, and that extends Las Vegas' lead to 7-3. He just hit that ball 461 feet. Exit velocity was 105.5 off the bat. Here's Daryl Hernandez. 
First pitch line drive, left field. That one is hit well. Hannah won't get it. It is gone. A line drive home run. A grand slam for Daryl Hernace. And with one swing of the bat, Las Vegas right back in this one. Now trailing 8-5. That was 108.9 off the bat. A low line drive, just a 16 degree launch angle, just got it over the fence. And it traveled 390 feet. Went down and got it, low line drive. Who pitched just the sixth inning, one frame full, two runs on one hit, one walk and one strikeout. Leaves with a no decision as Hernays crushes this one on a line to left center field. So left fielder Meckler turns around and watches this one get on out of here. Daryl Hernays with the long ball, his fourth with the Aviators, and a big time supplemental run gives Las Vegas an 8 to 5 lead. A screaming line drive that got out of here in a hurry. How about a launch angle of 18 degrees for Hernays?